What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kev Ozilla back with another video. Let me move this a little closer to the mouths over here for a second because um I want to explain a few things in today's video. It's going to be an important one. So um your boy went ahead and changed a few settings, in-game settings, and it will make an impact on my actual recall values possibly moving forward. Now, I don't know if I'm going to stick to this. Um, I don't know. I'm just, you know, testing out, testing the wars and stuff like that. Now, you guys know for the longest time here in this channel and me, your boy, truly, I have been sticking to like all, you know, default, like standard default settings, like all default settings, you know, in the game and all that. Granted, I play at 6'6", so I match all my settings with the game packer as far as the arcade is concerned, you know, across the board. Warzone, Warzone 2, Model Fit 2. I, right, of course, was a recent Model Fit 2 multiplayer in Warzone 2, right? So... Um, I changed a couple of settings and I feel like um, these settings are way better than what I had before. Now, I'm still at 120 uh, field of view. 120 field of view is like, I don't know, it's like kind of perfect for me. I, I've, it took me a while to get used to it and I can't go back. I cannot go back. But your boy been playing 120 field of view on independent right, for the longest time. And I know a lot of people swear by effective, say effective, effective. That. The reason why I kept independent is because collective minds themselves, they recommend it. They almost say you have to leave on independent. Now, if you change it to affected, all right, they say that you can't just leave the web profiles on zero, zero. You always, almost all the time, going to have to adjust, all right? Now, I'm going to show you for proof right now. I'm going to jump into a private game and show you the difference in game with the Chrono Z. It's the same thing with the Stripe Pack, guys, all right? So follow along. Now, I'm going to show you the difference between independent and then switching to affected, <coughs> infected, affected <laughs> what am I talking about? shooting at a wall all right and i'm i'm gonna switch between them show you the difference between them i'm gonna leave them both on the web profile zero zero and then you're gonna see that switching from independent to affected is actually gonna change the recall without me even having to adjust or change anything else i'm not even gonna, going to change nothing the values are my settings are nothing and you're gonna see just by making that change how drastic it's going to be well, for the recoil, all right? But don't worry. Then I'll adjust and I'll bring you guys update values, all right? But the weapon I'm going to be showing off in this video is the PDSW. I might even be um, having some gameplay. I might even jump into a game real quick and chop it up and test to see, you know, see how I like these settings and stuff. But I think going forward, because your boy did some testing overnight and early this morning, and I'm liking these new updated settings, all right? So here, here's the um, PDW or PDSW, all right, as they call it in this game. So here's the tune. You guys already know how I tune. I always max tune because it is completely pointless. Now, I know what other creators say, other people say that, oh, you know, go towards, you know, yada, yada, min max and all this. Don't, don't, don't max out stuff. Listen, I max out stuff because it's different. We rocking stripe pack in the Zen. So we're using anti recoil mods. So we're using devices that's handling the recoil. So we don't even need to even focus on recoil. Nothing recoil. Just stay away from it. So you might as well just max out whatever the other selection is. So aim walking speed. Damage range, you know, obviously for the barrel, which is the Cloak 90, then the laser VLK. The optic is the Chrono Mini Pro. I max it out for ADS speed, and I'm leaving the bottom alone. I never even mess with that. I, I don't, I don't, I just leave that default. I really don't like moving it close or moving it far. All right. The comb is the TV uh, attack comb for max aim walking speed and max ADS speed. This is the SMG. If it was like an AR or LMG, I would go towards aiming idle stability just to get, you know, help out a little bit with that um, weapon sway. And then the rear grip is the Bruin Q900 grip. All right, boom, same old, same old. Or oh, where am I going? Max ADS speed and max sprint to fire speed. Again, if it was an LMG AR, then I'll, I'll probably be going all towards Amy Idle Stability. Whatever attachments that allow me to max out for Amy Idle Stability, I would do so. And yeah, boom, there you have it. There is the PDSW setup I'm going in with. Now, let me show you the changes I made as far as my in-game settings is concerned. All right, you guys, so here we are. I'm about to go into my control settings. Gonna explain controller advance and then go into my field of view. So at any time, feel free to pause, rewind, do what you gotta do if you're uh, copying all my settings, but I'm not gonna be stopping or explaining everything. I'm only gonna stop at what's important and only the settings that I did change that I knew. Okay, so I hope you guys understand that and follow along. All right, so I'm gonna just keep it going down here. I'm gonna stop at controller vibration all right, guys, control vibration in-game has to be on no matter what game you're playing, Apex, whatever. If you're running the Strike Pack of the Zen and using these mods, these game packs, they work on control vibration. So make sure you have it on in-game. All right, it's been like that since day one for years, all right? I just don't say it every single time I make a video because it kind of gets like, 
repetitive and annoying have to say oh make sure vibration make sure so but just make sure your in-game vibration is on okay in order for these mods to really work all right moving on my my in-game sensitivity is six six i right? has to be one number you can't have mismatch numbers i right? has to be one number for both i right? ads sensitivity multipliers one so all these are one one these are all default i don't change any of them i don't mess with any of those all right the rest of these settings is pretty much tweaks their own automatic tactical sprint all right I leave this on tap to reload. Okay, the reason being is because I play a lot more Modern Warfare multiplayer rather than Warzone 2 and DMZ. I play DMZ maybe more than I did Warzone 2, but I'm I'm just waiting for them to add a new map for us to bring a smaller map, right? Like Rebirth was. Then I'll start playing a lot more Warzone 2.0. But until then, I'm leaving this on tap to reload. All right. When we get that smaller map, then I'll switch back to prioritize interact. Right. That's just I'm throwing in the towel. I'm like, yo, you know what? Nah, because in multiplayer, that, that messes me up a lot, having, like, anything other than taps of reload. And then, of course, armor plate, behavior, apply all. Now, let's press R1. Let's go over to advance. Target aim assist on. Aim assist type default. Assist. All this gyro stuff, this is all default. So, whatever the game put it as, like, as soon as I load this or as soon as, you know, got into the game, I didn't change any of this. I didn't mess with any of this. I'm not even going to. All right? Gyro is just not my thing, so I just left everything as is. All right? I'm continuing on. Aim response curve type standard. All right. One for ADS sense multiplier. Then this is instant. This is off. This has to be off. Like the mind says, this has to be off. All right. Now my input dead zones. Now here is where I, I made kind of a few new changes. Nothing too big. Don't don't think, oh, now, now he's going to, you know, his die is going to be different. No. Listen, the left stick has nothing to do with the mods. The left stick has nothing to do with the anti recall values or any of that. Your left stick. Okay. The left. Your movement has nothing to do with it. It's only the right stick, right? So I'm keeping my right stick minimum input dead zone at a 0.10, as always, and a 0.99 for the max. It's perfectly fine, right? I play with basically all brand new controllers. Now, unless you're playing with a controller that's, su that's suffering bad from like stick drift, any right or left, then you would adjust here, go into a private game and adjust until you get your, you know, your dead zones correct and you make sure... You don't have no more drifting, like your your aim ain't drifting off and stuff like that. Now it's to each their own. I can't help you here. I can't tell you what's the best numbers to put here. I right? I can't because that's totally up to you. But if you want to copy mine, there they are. Feel free. So zero for the left stick minimum. All right, point ten for the right stick minimum. Left stick max is a point thirty. I bring it all the way down. I got it at a point thirty because I go like this a little bit i just move it a little bit and i still like to walk a little bit i want to be able to still walk now if you bring this all the way down like all the way down to like 0.5 you won't be able to walk like um how can i say like your character's not going to be able like really steady walk you can have to like really go like this in order for your character i mean who's gonna play like that so i want to be able to still at least walk like if i have a riot shield or stuff like that, you don't want to be sprinting everywhere with riot shield i can kind of mess you up so that's why i'd rather have my left stick max at like a 0.30 it's like that I could still, you know, put a little bit of weight on the left stick and my character will still walk. And then if I wanted like full spread, I just, you know, that kind of thing. All right. My right stick max is a 0.99. L2 and R2. These two don't really matter, honestly, if you have um hair triggers or digital triggers in L2 and R2. Or if you have it enabled within the game pack, the hair trigger mod. I also have um like digital um trigger stops. Well, not digital, but like kind of clicky triggers. They don't really click, but it stops like, like right there. So that's kind of like just saying, you know, putting this on zero zero anyway. So I'm like, you know, why not just put it, bring just bring it down to zero zero. So I'm letting you guys know that I'm bringing these two down to a zero zero. Again, this doesn't really matter. And if you have like um physical trigger stops in L2 R2, or if you enabling the hair triggers in the game pack. But like I said, I'm letting you guys know I brought these two down to a zero zero just because next moving on boom boom again like i said i'm not going to mention anything or stop if you want you can pause it copy everything but i'm only going to like just go through this briefly and just mention what i feel is important all right this has to be off depleted ammo weapon switch this is something like the mind says has to be off but you guys already know that I, I've, I've done a whole setup video about this game pack and the recommendations for collective minds what they say you can or cannot use and yada 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 so if you want to check out that video, you guys already know what to do. Just search on YouTube. All right. And then, yeah, that's it. Now to go to my graphics. Well, AKA just a few of you, because all this stuff really tweets are on, but you want to have all this stuff off, have this on, have this on hundred. All right. Boom, boom. 
Now, let's go to the field of view. All right, third person. And if you play third person, um, here you go. Here, here are my settings, but I, I don't really play third person. All right, all right, those are settings right there. And then, of course, uh, these are the rest. Just least 50, least 50, third person, and game perspective. Now, let's go to the most important, the field of view. Always 120. Your boy plays at 120. It took me quite a while to get used to 120. Like, it took me a while, but I'm used to it now. I gave in, and I'm like, 120 is the vibes. But for the longest time, your boy has been playing on independent, all right? Because, like I explained before, independent just makes it easier, all right? When it comes to, like, the anti-recoil and just setting a weapon profile at zero, 0 and it's just it's just always a beam. You might have to adjust maybe a little tiny bit, but that's it, depending on your attachments and stuff like that and your settings. But Collectomize always does their, like, testing and their recommendations and their game packs and all that with, like, the most minimum, like, settings and stuff like that, like, the most default, standard, everything. And it makes it easier matching my settings with the recommendations, like what they recommended, which is all standard default. The only thing I do is just play at a 6 6 sensitivity. But now I'm like, you know what? Every, like almost everybody named Mama, not everybody, because I know there are um, actually some consecrators who play on independent, but I'm like, you know, affected. Let me try affected. Let me see what's the big fuss about affected. Now I know changing this to affected is going against what kind of my says and their recommendations. So I know I'm going to have to automatically all the time adjust answer my, my answer recall values all the time not going to be able to just set the web profile zero zero and it's going to be a beam that won't be the case if you are playing on affected and i'm going to show you that for proof now by jumping into a private game all right so after everything is set up 120 field of view all right affected let's go ahead and go to a private boom all right, i already showed you what gun i'm jumping in with all right now this was actually brought to me well i've been thinking about it for a while but this was actually brought to me by a subscriber of mine and it, it's been in the back of my mind already i just haven't gotten around to do it but i'm finally doing it so i'm going to be jumping into a private game you know shooting at a wall showing you guys the difference between independent and affected and then i'm actually going to jump into a game and see how i feel all right check it out pdsw zero zero right zero vertical zero horizontal just to show you guys, just to quickly double check. All right, field of view. All right, let's go to a, uh, independent first. All right, check it out. For 15, because it's SMG. All right, independent. All right, I'm ADS. Empty out the mag. All right, it should almost be a beam already. The whole entire mag just leaving it at zero, zero. All right, without just match all my settings, and I should be good to go. Check it out. You guys see that? So it's pretty much already spot on. You see that? Without having to adjust anything. Zero, zero. All right? Zero, zero. Now, I'm not going to cut anything. I'm going to just move over. I'm going to show you guys this. All right? I'm going to show you guys this. Look, let's go to controller. Go to graphics. Go down. Press square. Change this to affected. All right? Now, check this out. All right? Check it. Zero, zero. Right? Look, just to show you guys. Check it out. I see it starting to pull down. That's what Collectomizer is saying. If you leave it on independent, it's always going to be zero zero because that's how they do their testing for all the weapons in the game, for all the weapon profiles. Zero zero is almost going to be a beam regardless, depending on your attachments, like I said, your settings and stuff like that. The difference between independent and effective. Independent zooms in back to an 80 field of view pretty much when you ADS. All right. So, for example, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go back. All right. Let me go to field of view. And let me just go to independent. And you see that zoom? That zoom in when you, what you get? Look. See how when, I, when you hold down ADS, that zoom, it zooms in. It pre, it's pretty much zooming in back to an 80 field of view. All right. I have SMG. I also have the Chrono Mini, uh, Mini Pro, the blue dot. All right. Now, if I go and change it back to affected, see that? It doesn't zoom in. Right, it doesn't zoom in like at all. It keeps the field of view the same, no matter what. See that? Right, it keeps it. A lot of people prefer affected because, like, for running gun, like if you the if you the aggressive type, especially for multiplayer, if you running around, people's in your face. Let's say the person's in your face, you you shoot like this. You don't get that zooming in effect that you get independent. And for some people, that messes them up. Me, that that never really messed me up. But for some people, I can stand it does. I affect is very good for like I will say like you know pistols, SMGs, and stuff like that. Independent comes in for like ARs, LMGs, and stuff like that. Like if you're shooting and you're beaming somebody like from a distance, long range, miss a long range, because you want to get that zoom in effect. So 
I guess it's like a trade off when it comes to independent and affected. But majority of people play on affected. Right? Especially if you're sweaty, you play on affected. Me, I was different. I always played on independent. It's just something I was used to. But hey, I'm here now to let you guys know that I'm going to be testing out um and getting used to affected. All right. So now I'm going to be adjusting for affected. So the PDSW at a zero zero, you can see it pulled down. Right. So I'm gonna press the old touchpad, press the R three. I'm gonna bring her up. That's going to go into the negatives. All right. So let's say, let's say negative six. All right. Press the R three from fifteen. Let's see. ADS gets your thumbs off analog sticks as always. And there you go. Simple. Look at that. Wow. I just guessed. Look at that. Simple. See that? So you can still adjust even though you're playing on affected. Still adjust and get a beam. But the point is, got to let you guys know that no matter what, if you're playing affected, you're always going to have to adjust to get your values. Especially if you're rocking different settings, different attachments. If you're on PC, yada, yada, yada. All right. So I got to let you guys know that. All right. Well, independent. You can almost rest assured if you leave the web profile zero zero is going to be a beam. If you got all your in-game settings mashed up with the game pack. Hey right, guys, real quick before I uh, jump into a game and test out all these uh, brand new settings and see how I like them and stuff like that. Just see how I do. I want to explain something real quick. So let's get into the game pack settings. You can see my active aim mod right, is on aim assist, right? Because I want to show you guys all right, the intensity right now is on 15. 15 is like standard default, all right? Now, honestly, I wouldn't recommend going anything less or anything lower than 15 because the lower you go, you might as well just disable the mod because you're going to make the aim assist, the stick aim assist, you know, worse and worse. You're going to lower it. And we all know how it works. When you ADS, you're going to get that screen shake. And it's going to spin. The lower the number, the less screen shake. What does that mean? Also, the less amount of stick aim you're going to have, right? So anywhere from like 15 to 20 will be good or 15 to like 25. But anywho, I explained that in my previous aim assist video. What I'm going ahead and do is... I'm going to disable this, something I haven't done in quite some time. I'm going to go ahead and not run no active aim mod. That means no aim assist, okay, while I'm ADSing. But I'm still keeping the rotation aim assist when firing. You see me moving? That's the rotation aim assist kicking in while I'm firing my weapon. I, I want to still have that, but I don't want nothing to be when I ADS. I, only the regular in-game aim assist is going to kick in because... We all know what happens to your right stick, your, your aiming stick, when you're trying to, you know, fine tune and, you know, follow somebody in a gunfight or you're trying to beam somebody from a distance. All right. Check this out. All right. This happens on independent and affected. It doesn't matter. This is, this has to do with the aim assist mod. All right. For example, if I ADS, all right, you see there's no screen shade. There's nothing, obviously, because I have it disabled. I'm going to move slightly my right stick. And you see how smooth that is? That's just smooth one go. You see that? It's just smooth. So I'm able to track, you know, my target better in gunfights and stuff like that. Now, let me show you guys what happens when you go into um, active aim mod and you have aim assist. And this is aim assist across the board. No matter what game pack, what script, whatever, it's going to do this. All right. Let's turn on aim assist when I ADS. All right. Now I'm ADSing. All right. And you can see, especially on the left side of the wall, you can see there's a bit of screen shake. It's not too crazy, but it's there. It's moving. It's there. All right. Now. To show you guys what happens. Now I'm going to show you guys I'm ADS. And I'm going to move the right stick slowly again. But check it out. Look at the um the blue dot. And look what happens when I just slightly move the right stick to the right side. You see that? How it's, how it's kind of stuttering. Well, not stuttering. But like it's, it's doing loops. All right. When you're moving, it's going like this. That's the aim assist. That's the aim assist mod. That's going to happen regardless. Now, that has maybe not so many so many times but it has messed me up in gunfights more so at distance like when when i'm trying to you know beam somebody at distance and follow them follow the target and stuff like that because when you ads and you move your right stick it does that and that's not that's not something you want to be happening right because that's going to mess you up especially if like if you're a sweat and you're, and you're a good player in this game you don't want something like that happening so it's going to be kind of hard tracking your opponent because at, at them situations where you got to, like, fine-tune it and really, like, you know, just move it slightly, it's going to be skipping. Look at that. See how it's skipping? Even when I do it fast, it's skipping. You can feel it and you can see it. You know, even I'm going slow, you can see it's going like that. That's the aim assist mod. That's going to happen because of the aim assist. Now, I'm doing an experiment where I'm going to just be testing myself and just leave an active aim mod just off. All right? Disable the aim assist. Okay? I don't want aim assist on while I'm ADSing. 
Now, as far as my uh, active shot mod is concerned, I'm leaving it on rotation. Right? I had it on rotation. I'm leaving it on rotation. There's no way I want it on aim assist because it's going to be the same thing I just showed you, but while firing my weapon. That I never liked from the get-go. All right, rotational, something I could deal with because it's not that bad. Or else I would have disabled this thing too and don't have no kind of aim assist mod whatsoever, right? I'm going to try out rotational aim assist while I'm firing, but I'm going to leave my active shot mod disabled. All right, save it. All right, same values that I just finished getting you guys. All right, negative six, one horizontal. All right, my settings is still the same that I just went over with you guys for 120 field of view on affected. All right, everything else stood pretty much the same, right? Except for the affected. So I'm gonna try out affected, run a couple of games, maybe bring you guys a couple more videos after this with affected, see what happens, see what you guys feel about it. All right, but uh, let's test out affected in the actual game and see how I feel and see how we do. So we finally got shipment 24 seven back. Let's see how I do. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm dead. Wait a minute. This actually feels like pretty... This actually feels pretty, uh... Wait, it might, it might be just because of the map. It might be just because of the map. So, hold on. It could be just because of the map, you know, shipment and all that. But, uh... Hold on. Let me, let me not get too cocky. Let me not get too cocky. Oh, he's sniping. He's sniping. Wait a minute. Let's not get too cocky. I'm liking it though. I'm liking this uh this affected. I mean it's different. Right when I got it, right? Uh right when your boy got uh Right when your boy got it, I just died. It's all good. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, it's it's all good. It's, it's all good. Whoa. Don't worry about it. All right, snipers. That's what I'm dying by. It's all good. I ain't sweating it. This is more so testing out uh, affected, so I worry about it. Let's see. So far, is it's honestly it's faster. I would say it's a lot faster. It's definitely no, no, no. There's no reload cancel. I forgot. You can't, you can't, uh, cancel reload. Sucks. Hey, I'm still liking it. I ain't gonna lie. It's a bit more faster. It's like fast pace. Yo, it's so, like, smooth. Like, like, really? What? what? I'm dead. I'm not. Yes, I am. He's sniping. <laughs> He's the only one killing me. How many times have I died? He's the only one that sniped me, like, three, four times. But, yo. This is smooth, yo. I'm not even gonna lie. This is, yo, bro, where have I been? Look at this. Where have I been? I've been rocking independent this whole time. I mean, what's going on with me? Oh, nope. Yeah, he got me. What's going on with me? 32 kills? I don't mean deaths. What you doing? Yeah, he's, he's just head glitching over there. But, hey, I don't care. Yeah. There you go. I put this shield up. I put this shield up. I drop him. Okay, shots, uh, guy. Whoa. I heard some footsteps, but I didn't know. Oh, I'm dead. If he pushes me, I'm dead. Am I here to push me? Chuck that over there. Yep. No. I thought I'd, uh, I thought I had that. Bro, I love shit, man. This is so much chaos, bro. I just, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push. Nope. Should've pushed. It should've never pushed. Yeah. Whoa. I didn't even know he's gonna pop out of there. Bro, chill out. Can you chill out? Watch this. 
All right. I don't know where my aim was right there. Nine more bullets. Oh my God, what is happening? No, I'm dead. He's saving me. Uh, I'm bro, I only got 29 bullets, bro. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know what's going on, bro. Can't see. I'm dead. Laying down right there. Mm -mm. Bro, this feels so like smooth, bro. I'm telling you. Like, bro. No. What are you doing? He made, like jumped and everything. I thought he he he. I thought he was gonna get it. Like he jumped like yo, I got this, I got this. Don't worry about it. Oh, I haven't even been using this. What am I? Fifty-three. That's not bad. Probably would have a lot more by now. But your boy getting used to it. Getting used to uh. Getting used to affected, you know. Changes like this takes time. It takes time and effort. Yo, pretty good, man. The fact that it might be the wave, bro. That wasn't bad at all. 85 kills? That's not bad. First time playing on Affected? I don't know. Affected just feels more like, I don't know, like smooth. I don't know like if that's the word, smooth. But one thing is for sure, you definitely have to, have to get used to that not zooming in. If you're used to like independent zooming in, that's definitely uh yeah, it's definitely going to uh mess with you. But hey, I think I'm gonna run it like this for here on out and see what happens. If I enjoy it, I'll keep it and see what happens. If not, then ultimately I'll probably end up going back to independent for the sake of you know the values and game pack and stuff like that. Take care everyone, till next time.